At the total joint center, we recommend that most patients receive spinal anesthesia before undergoing hip and knee replacements. Spinal anesthesia numbs the area between the belly button and the mid-shin, resulting in a temporary inability to move your legs. This is completely normal. Spinal anesthesia is administered through a small needle placed in the lower back. You'll be asked to sit with your legs hanging off the edge of the stretcher or operating table. After the skin is cleaned, the skin and surrounding muscles will be numb so that you're comfortable during the spinal injection. Local anesthetic is delivered through the needle, and the effects will begin within minutes. The spinal anesthetic is used along with several medications that will make you sleepy during the procedure. An anesthesia provider will closely monitor you throughout the procedure. If placing a spinal anesthetic is too difficult, your anesthesiologist may recommend changing the anesthesia plan to a general anesthetic. You'll be asked to lie down flat on your back, and general anesthesia will be induced shortly thereafter. Spinal anesthesia is quickly becoming the method of choice for joint surgeries. It boasts quicker recovery times and an earlier start to physical therapy than general anesthesia. In addition, there's less post-operative nausea and vomiting, virtually no risk of sore throat or damage to your mouth, and less blood loss during your surgery. Possible risks associated with spinal anesthesia include pain near the injection site, bleeding, infection, and in rare cases, headache. Fortunately, these risks are small and treatable if they should happen.